Okay. Okay. Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2 from verse 9. Amen. Amen. You know, when a company manufacturing, they are about to manufacture a product, they will put a lot into it in terms of research, in terms of the investment, in terms to make sure because their reputation will depend on that product. Hallelujah. Yeah. When we see, for example, I will take that as an example of like uh, maybe let's say a phone. Maybe one of the uh, latest iPhone is uh, iPhone 15. So they will first of all have a time. They will be doing a lot of publicity about it or make announcements about it. But they have a time to invest, time to research, time to make sure it is uh, because that product once it go out, it, it represent them and their reputation is online. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Same for all they can manufacture all other products. And uh, if uh, let it, uh, for example, if they, the car makers, they will have uh, what we call the sample. Once the product is all done and finished, after all the uh, research and the time of working, engineering, now they will bring the product to first, they put it in the showroom, sometimes even before it goes public. So and all the car dealers and all people who are interested, they will have the time to go, all the makers, they have the time to go to look into the, uh, the sample in the showroom. And they will be presenting the car, and they will have the various people explaining what this car, all the fun, all the functions, all the, the options, everything, the features the car is having. That car is called uh, the sample or the prototype, a prototype. So, which means all the customers that are coming to see this car, to look at this car, and all that has been explained to them, each customer is expecting when they will buy either that phone, either that car. Everything that is in that sample will be in the product that they will be having. Amen. Amen. Before we go from talk about uh, God so loved the world and He gave. We all know that. And all that the scriptures about giving. But today, what did God give? Hallelujah. Amen. What did God give? I'm going to talk to you about the sample or the prototype. What God gave? Let's read. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. For in Christ was the fullness of the deity lives in the bodily form. That's Paul's there. In, he, in, in Christ was the fullness of the deity. In another version, he said, in Christ was the fullness of all the God's hands, which means God the Father, God the Spirit, God the Son. They were all dwell, the fullness of God, dwell in that cross. Hallelujah. Amen. In the bodily form. Yeah. So this is the prototype of the heaven. This is the prototype of God. This is the sample of God. Uh -huh. So when we talk about, for God so love you. Yeah. For God so love you. And with what is God gave. God presents you the prototype. If they manufacture the company of this world, they can have the time to invest into research about their product. How much more the God on money? The reason for life, the reason for being. How much more God can invest in what he's about to release. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now in him, dwell all the fullness of God lives in Christ in the bodily form. So, in that body of Christ was God being personified. God tabernacles. God now dwell in the body of a human being. And the, the, the fullness, all, all, all the substance, all that God is. And all that God had, and what God God then was all contained in that body of grass. Made kabosh. Now He said that that grass God give it to you. That grass. Hallelujah. When we talk about giving, what we can give God in the return is nothing compared to what God has given us. God give Himself in the bodily form. God release everything, all the DNA, everything that is in Him. He release it in grass. Now that grass is in you. Amen. He said, for grass in me is the hope of glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Same Colossians, just chapter 1, verse 15. You can start giving. You can start if you want your, the envelope or you, you are using the f post machine. You can just raise your hand. Our ashes are going around. Start giving. Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. 
The sun is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. So Christ is the express image of the invisible God. What Christ was, was that the representation of God. That's why when Philip asked him, you've been telling us about the Father, you know, who can, can you tell us who's the Father? You never show us the Father. And Jesus looked at Philip and said, Philip, I've been with you all this time. You don't know me. If you see me, you've seen the Father. He's in me, I am in him. Amen. My Father and I, we are one, and nobody can separate us. So when we have this in mind, what about to give him, we need to understand what, the, what God has given us in a relation in what we are about to give God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your, our money is just like nothing to compare. Yeah. Because in that cross, it comes with healing. In that cross, yeah. it comes with deliverance. Yeah. In that cross, it comes with restoration. Yeah. In that cross, it comes with uh, salvation. Amen. And salvation is uh, the, uh, the full package. So when God released Christ, God has released Christ with the blessing, with the protection, with the prosperity, with uh, all, everything that we never need was in Christ. God has given Good. everything. Right. And when we think about that, we think that whatever we have, we are giving. Mm. We have nothing that we can even, even complain about, That's even right. brag about. That's Hallelujah. Right. If someone already has Christ in them, give like you value the one that is in you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you.